Welcome! In this video I will show you how to install Visual Studio Code on your Windows 10 computer. So, first of all, let's open browser and type Visual Studio Code. Then open codevisualstudio.com in the main site. And on the home page, as you see, we can download Studio for Windows. We can use Mac, Windows or Linux. We will use for Windows. Let's click download. And as you see, we have file. It's approximately 72 megabytes. And let's save it. We will wait while it will be downloaded. When the file is downloaded, we can run it as its exe file. So now we open the installation process. We accept agreement, click next. Then we will see where this application will be saved. By default, it's uh, up data, local, and uh, Microsoft VS Code. Click Next. Then we will create a program's shortcut. Let's leave as it is. Then we won't create icon and uh, leave everything as it is. We don't want to add the uh, open with code for Windows Explorer. Then we have information and click install. So let's close the browser and we will see what we have. And after that, we can launch Studio Code. And that's it. As you see, we have Studio Code. We can choose theme. It will be dark one. And let's close it. So the other option how you can open, let's open command line. And you can type code to open Visual Studio Code as well. So it's super easy. The next one, as you see, it's uh, Studio Code. We have no projects in this application. We work with files and uh, folders. So we can create or open new folder, for example, on the desktop, let's create a new folder, for example, project, and select it. And now we work with this program, with this folder. Yes, we trust. So, what do we have? First of all, we have Explorer, where we can create files. For example, you can click plus and you create a new file. For example, script.js. And now we have JavaScript file. The other option, you can create a folder and uh, inside you can create another file, for example. It's everything in the Explore section. The next one, you have search, for example, you can type and it will look for the 
text inside your folder or project. And as you see, we can find console log. When you click Ctrl F, you will see that you can find everything what you need. But inside this file. Also, you have option to work with Git, for example, or any other version control system. Also, the other option is uh, debugging your application. For example, it's for JavaScript debugging, in my case, for this file. And uh, the very important section is extensions. You can install different popular extensions. For example, you can open popular section and you see that we have everything what you need. For example, ESLint, Preter, Live Server, or anything else. We can look for JavaScript, for TypeScript, Babel. So, and that's it. It's how you can use Studio Code. It's very powerful text editor. To save changes in your file, don't forget to click Ctrl S or File Save. Thank you for watching.